Forty-four-year-old Henry Garbutt, also known as Snow, was cruelly killed last night in his own yard while socializing with friends. According to police, Garbutt and the others were approached from behind by a lone gunman, who fired several shots at him. A friend of Garbutt says he stood in the distance and saw when the gunman arrived. This morning he told us about hearing distant gunshots and piecing it all together after he had the facts. I only observed from about 150 feet where I was coming from. Um, the, then I saw a motorcycle turn from left to right and stop immediately from the house and I hear about seven gunshots gone off. This morning when I passed um, sometime between the hours of quarter to eight, I saw a two individuals at the street and I only hear when one of the hall and say, um, this is that alone Ross. And I still continue to move out and gone about my business and do um do my work, no? And approximately after nine then I get to understand that the boy Snow had died. Garbutt is the second person to meet his end on Gadsby Rama Street in the last three weeks. The first was Officer Lorraine Arzu, who was shot in the head while parked in front of her home. And while Arzu enforced the law, Garbutt is said to have been a very helpful man, most recently engaged in helping his sister build a house. But he did have a past. He's a very positive person in life. I don't know, he's not, not a troubled man. He had some past from some years back, but I don't think if that was it last night, the most bit about it, no? Um, seems like sometimes somebody may used to talk about he had a... Um, some neighbors that he used to all time tell me one time that he had some weed stash where and certain individual may move it. So I don't know if those are the same person who came back and um, interfered with him, no? Garbutt's family couldn't confirm or deny that scenario this morning. His sister Delilah could only tell us about the man she knew him to be and what he'd meant to their family. We always try to like, be strong for each other as a family. Um, he was a nice young man. I could say that as a sister, yes, I would say that, you know, but we cannot really say outside. So I'm talking on what the family, the entire family know, and we just see it as, you know, things like this always happen. We're not sure what happened, actually. We just know that Something like this really hard for the family to deal with, but he was a good person. And you know, if you had the hazard, I guess, why would somebody have targeted your brother? That that a question when you should be answered, because Allah will ask the same question. We don't know why somebody do it. We don't know why they would have do it. We don't really know. And as our interview was coming to an end, Garbutt's mother made her way downstairs to tell our cameras that she doesn't hate his killer, and that she is praying for them, as well as for her son. Yes, he kind of have his ways, you know, all males, all human beings have their way if you don't get under their skin, you understand, but I don't see the reason for the person, whoever he or she is, <laughs> do it, but we just pray for the person indeed, you know, pray that. Sharice Halsall, 7 News.